Do you think you're psychic? Here is a list of questions to ask yourself. To see if your angels have been trying to reach you. Have you observed numbers that stand out in a pattern formation? Seeing number patterns or number sequences is a strong indicator that you are awakening to the presence of your angels. Your angels and guides have been trying to send you signs and symbols. And want you to know that they are with you through your heartache of the trials and tribulations that are now taking precedence in your life. It is always a good idea to look up on your phone or computer to find out what each particular number pattern means. Arithmancy is the correct term for divination using numerology or when you add up numbers in a date, the time, or a word. Do you see beautiful colors surrounding a person or a living thing? This is a great indication that you are a psychic. It is known as your aura. Your aura is thought to be a luminous body that surrounds your physical one. Each layer and any problems in them surrounds your body in a net of energy. Being centered, spiritually aligned, and operating from your higher truth will lead to expansion of your aura. If this net of energy is out of alignment, you may feel like you're burnt out. Or have a sense of not belonging. Do you have profound dreams that come to fruition? You might be a psychic. When we dream we tap into the true nature of reality. Seeing beyond the veil, which creates illusion, is where the key lies. We then catch a glimpse of the frequency of the future. Do not be alarmed, for you may not have all the answers. And that's okay. We are not meant to figure this out in one day. It is a sign of awakening. As time progresses, you will be guided by your angels as to your next step of understanding. Trust in this process, that is what you need to hear at this time. There are in fact, many of us who have been in your position and are here to listen if not help. This is a key point of recognizing that we are all connected. And at some point, you may start to recognize if a person, is good or bad. Take this, as a telltale sign of your awakening. This is your clear cognition being exercised. This is the ability for a person to acquire psychic knowledge without knowing how or why. Also, you are learning to operate from your higher self and your intuition is strengthening. This is called your third eye or clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is often associated with precognition and when this clair is worked on can lead to out-of-body experiences. These out-of-body experiences are called astral projection. Which is the ability to use your astral body through which consciousness can function separately from the physical body and travel throughout the astral plane. An advanced form of astral projection can also be studied. This is known as remote viewing. Remote viewing is the practice of viewing a location that is separate in distance from the remote viewer. Clear sentient messages come through as an extreme thought of emotions or feelings. Have you ever thought of a person and they call you in the next few minutes? Or felt someone was hurt, all to find out later it's as you felt it? Remember, we are all connected. Your clear audience can also be turned on. Which is audible messages that are heard by the psychic, with their own ears. These messages are normally experienced where advanced meditation practices are being studied. Although it is certainly not uncommon. Have you ever smelled a smell that you associated with a deceased loved one? Alone in the house by yourself. This is known as clear olfaction. Clear olfaction is the unique psychic ability to clear smell. As our smell perceptions are heightened, it is most often associated with unusual mediumship experiences and spirit phenomena. Have you ever seen an orb of light? This is called clairvoyance or clear seeing. This is associated with your third eye. You may also see signs and symbols in your mind's eye. Or may even see dark shadows. It's going to be okay. Many psychics learn to develop and fine-tune this clair using meditation and setting intention as to what signs and symbols mean to the psychic. Your guides and angels then pick up on these rhythmical patterns. Have you ever felt someone else's pain or happiness? This is known as clair empathy. Clair empathy means, you have the ability to access other people's emotions. In fact, Empathic mediums train themselves to detect subtle changes in energetic vibrations with others. 
Many Reiki practitioners gravitate towards fine-tuning this clair, as it helps the practitioners determine which chakra system is blocked or out of balance. Many of you are here looking for answers. It might be from an experience of your own, or another individual. And the feeling of being stuck, is setting in, leading you to the point of searching the web. The advice is to tell yourself you are normal. In fact, you are above average. You obtain the right to see reality's flaw, seeing what's behind the superficial. One thing you will have to tell yourself over and over again is that you are on the right path. Your unique loving presence in the universe is needed at this time and you will be led by using, blind faith alone. This above all will test your strength courage and will power. You may feel disconnected or isolated and unattached. And it's okay. You are working in between realms and not everyone has awakened. The reason why you are here right now is because you are being honest with yourself in what you have been experiencing. This is known as the isolation period. When we see our true selves from a higher perspective we can distinguish when another person is disconnected from their higher selves. Just know that you see the bigger picture and it's not your job to help them be self-aware. No one said this is easy. Disconnection is recommended, and sometimes imperative, depending how awoke you were previously. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be okay. This is called emotional detachment. It stems from a stressful situation and leaves an unwillingness to connect with others. In different ways this may make you feel annoyed or frustrated. Do not think that you somehow gave up. Your faith is being tested. We all have free will. Others are accountable for their own actions. They have their own path to walk. And that's okay. The road of karmic lessons is a hard one. But just know that if they haven't come to you for advice, then their lesson has not been learned. Just think of it as a ascending stairway. You have completed those particular karmic lessons. Each particular stair has a designated lesson to each. It's what you have come here to learn. The lesson plan. You yourself have written. It has been forged into scrolls kept in what is called. The Akashic Record Hall. Also commonly known by many psychics as the Hall of Records. You yourself can learn to access your scroll. Through advanced meditative training. Individuals are not allowed access to your records. They are only allowed. If they were in attendance at that specific moment in time. And the same principle laws. Apply to you as well. As a person who is self-aware of their own actions. A big part of ascension is done through, healing work done on themselves. But actually this is where it all brings the light you need to advance forward. Many people then are able to advance into specific fields of study like Reiki, remote energy healing, or go even further in the study of quantum healing techniques. There are a number of different various quantum variations such as, wave particle duality and virtual particles and more generally to energy and vibrations. It is known as an alternative medicine. These techniques are being performed in many countries worldwide. Depending on what type of natural gifts you acquire. You are as unique to this universe, as your own fingerprint. You may not own all of these gifts combined. You may embody one or several. But as for me my name is Angel. And I embody all of these gifts within me and much more. It has led me to the YouTube tarot community, and has let me exercise my mediumship on the regular. If you would like to share your experiences I would love to hear them. Please be sensitive to people's situation. You never know if one day it could be you. I invite you to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For there you will receive free Zodiac Tarot readings at least monthly. Plus many surprise extra readings. Namaste.